All right, welcome back. In this chapter, we will learn to invent our own application that will allow us to draw and paint in Scratch. I love this kind of stuff. I used to draw and paint all the time. And right now, it's very easy to program one of these applications for ourselves, and you will learn how to do it in this chapter. So let me show you how this works. If I hit on the the green flag, you notice this little pencil that follows my mouse. This is something that we haven't done before and we will learn how to do it in this chapter. We will learn how to make sprites follow our mouse. So this pencil follows my mouse and at some point if I bring my mouse down towards the menu with the buttons below, the pencil will stop following me as you can see. And if I bring the mouse back up to the open space, the pencil will start following me again. If I click and start dragging on the screen, notice that the pencil starts drawing on the white space. And by default, the pencil leaves a black mark. But if I click one of these buttons, for example, the green one, the pencil will change its color and will draw something else. Now, besides the colors, we have a number of control buttons that we will use to program this pencil. For example, we have these buttons plus and minus used to grow and shrink the mark of the pencil. So if you want a thinner mark, you need to press the minus button a couple of times and you see the very thin green mark. Or if you want to grow it, you need to press the plus button a bunch of times and it will leave a much thicker mark. There's also an option to erase what you've done by clicking this button with the magic wand. When you click it, notice the cursor changes and you can start dragging around and deleting what you've done. Now, if you're tired of deleting things yourself, you can click this zap button with the lightning bolt mark and everything will disappear. If you wanna switch back to drawing, you can always click this pencil button, which switches the mode back to pencil and you can draw in black again. So we will learn how to create this very cute application from nothing, starting in the next video.